Okay, welcome back. I'd like to start this video off by uh, saying thank you to everybody who tuned in to my first ever live stream last night. That was kind of a test, just to see if my computer was uh, had the technology uh, to do that kind of uh, that kind of thing. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed all your comments. Enjoyed uh, interacting with everybody live. That was fun. Um, so I hope to hope to do it again um, on a more regular basis, and maybe even. Uh, broadcast, uh, if you will, from the uh, shop here. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, today, working back on the cat generator set, what I want to do is continue on with uh, cleaning the crankcase out. I've already started on it. I've gotten a good, good jump on the work. Got a lot of sludge and grit cleaned out. Uh, I want to show you uh, how I'm going about that. I've kind of got an interesting setup here with uh, some tubes and hoses and different things. I'll give you a, give you a shot of that, what exactly I'm doing. Um, other than that, yeah, let's jump into it. Now I think in the last video, I focused primarily on cleaning the, uh, the water jacket in the, uh, in the main cylinder block here. That was complete, or that is complete now. After that, off the camera, I uh, went and cleaned up the, the counter bore area for the cylinder liners. They cleaned up very well, and they're actually in good shape. Off hand, they are 525 thousandths deep, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, don't quote me on that, I'll have to go uh, check my notes, but they're all the same all the way around, they're not pitted, I don't have any low spots. So that's good. Good news. Don't have to worry about remachining uh, re those. And I also gave a little clean up to the, uh, the, the deck here. Cylinder block deck. So uh, waiting for a straight edge to come in. A three foot straight edge that I ordered uh, in order to check the, uh, the surface flatness. Make sure I don't have any low spots that are going to cause me grief down the line. But really this video is going to be regarding cleaning out the crankcase, cleaning out the block. I've already started, I think I mentioned that earlier, got to stop repeating myself here. But uh, here's a look at the, the front timing gear area. Now, I've, I don't know if I've ever shown this area directly in a video previously, but this whole uh, inside of the casting here was completely coated in a, a thick black sludge. And I've been working little by little to get it cleaned off. And actually, the, the casting is painted cat yellow on the inside, which is pretty cool to see. And that all cleaned up really well. The main uh, cam gear here, governor weights cleaned up, the engine uh, crankshaft gear, and the injection pump gear. Now, they, these gears do need a little bit of attention. You can see there's some rusting in here. And I showed that previously. We'll get to that at a later date. This is pretty much just concerning cleaning of the main crankcase, the, the, the severe areas. Got a modified uh, paint roller tray to catch the, uh, the uh, liquid as it drips down. Let it go back down into the, into the, uh, the oil pan. Let me step down here. So let's take a look in the crankcase here. I've got this one, uh, this one cylinder bay lit up. Got a light, work light in there. That's actually what that box is up top. That's a, a 12 volt DC power supply, and I'm running a 25 watt 12 volt lamp here. Again, the interior of the block was completely coated in a, a very thick black sludge and I've been working on cleaning it and it's coming out quite well. See it's all painted cat yellow. You couldn't see any of this, this, this paint previously. Let me actually put you in and you can see what I still have left to do if the light doesn't uh, blanket out. It's a tedious process cleaning in here. 
show you the camshaft here. Sorry, I can't actually see what you're seeing right now. Hopefully this is uh, not going to make anybody sick, this camera work. At this point it's a great improvement from what it was, believe me. But, I'm going to continue on and show you the process that I've devised to uh, clean the crankcase out. Essentially, I've got a vinyl tube connected to the, the oil drain uh, valve from the pan. That runs down to two five-gallon buckets. Now I've equipped these buckets with uh, fittings, bulkhead fittings, one in the, uh, the inlet down at the bottom, and a, a discharge a little bit higher. And then the same thing on that side. Now I, I, I place homemade filters in these buckets to filter the, uh, the cleaning solvent, which I'm just using uh, fuel oil, just uh, red, dyed red uh, diesel fuel, essentially, home heating oil. These are the filters that I've manufactured specifically for this operation. This is the primary filter, which is these are made of wood, by the way. This is kind of a, this was kind of an experimental process to make uh, to you know, devise a system to separate the, the the fine sludge from the from the, the fuel oil that I'm using to uh, as a solvent. So we got a fine stainless steel screen here. That's the primary to catch all the chunks that goes in the first bucket. The secondary filter has that same stainless steel screen. But on the one side, there is a, a layer of filter fabric or filter felt. This, uh, it looks like, you know, like craft felt, but I, it's specifically made for, uh, for this application. And it's got a 10 micron filter rating. So it'll remove a lot of the, of the fine particulate and allow, it, allow me to, you know, keep recirculating the same liquid to clean out, clean out the case, the crankcase. The pump I'm using is an old day tank pump from a generator set. It's got a, it's got a bronze gear pump here. It's a, just a 120 volt motor. And I throttle the flow with a valve, ball valve on the intake of the pump. And it works pretty well. I've got a half inch vinyl tube going out to a brush that you would find in a parts washer. So, like I said, this is a time consuming, tedious process but this allows me to, to do it fairly efficiently, just work on one bay at a time, just scrubbing everything down, and all of the, the particulate, the grit, falls to the bottom of the pan and runs down to the sump. Now, the final step in, in the cleaning process is gonna be pulling off this, the, the sump has this large plate here with the dipstick attaches to. This is a big removable plate. That's going to allow me to remove, once I remove this plate, I can get access to the, to the oil pump, remove the oil pump for inspection and cleaning, and clean all of the remaining grit out of that sump. Before that point, uh, and after the cleaning of the main crankcase, will be the flushing of all the oil galleries that feed the camshaft bearings, of which there are three, uh, actually, what are they? Three or four? I forget. But um, yeah, crank, clean the crankshaft, flush the crankshaft uh, bearings out, camshaft bearings, and the uh, the uh, bearings for the timing gears and idler gears. But uh, let's uh, let's get to some action here. Get some work done. All right, now everybody's gonna have to just bear with me for this part. As you can imagine, it's gonna be pretty difficult to to film what I'm doing in the uh, in the crankcase here. I'll take you off the stand first and show you what we're working with. I've rotated the crankshaft a bit to expose uh, see that that black line across the back. That's what the entire crankcase looked like, just completely covered in sludge. And you can see the, the inside here. You can see the thick, thick grit that completely coated this thing. That's all gotta go. 
So that's what I'm going to work on. Once I get the uh, this this area cleaned up and uh, clean the actual uh, crankshaft throw, that'll pretty much be it for this uh, this uh, cylinder port or crankshaft port. I'll put you back on the stand. I'm gonna try to try to get some video with this. You know what? Maybe the stand isn't. Maybe the tripod isn't going to be useful here. Let's try it freehand first. Start the pump. There we go. I have the flow kind of choked down. But... Decent gloves on here. So I just coat the area here. You see that sludge, once you get it wet with some fuel oil, it tends to dissolve pretty easily. Okay, well I've moved over to cylinder 3 here, and you can see this one looks a lot a lot more like it did before I started the process. Just these heavy sludge and grit particles everywhere, just no good. Now a lot of this, well I shouldn't say a lot, but some of this grit was from when I pulled the cylinder liners. You remember all of that rusty, flaky powder that was in the cylinder block. Uh, unfortunately, I was unable to catch it all once it once I pulled the liner out, and it kind of coated everything in here. So let me turn the pump on, and we'll get to work on this one. Stand by. Reaching over to the pump.
here. Okay, well, the day's over. Let's see how we made out. I got the light back in number three here. Not looking too shabby. Of course, there's still some areas I couldn't easily access. But I managed to uh, get a little bit of work done on each of them. Number four. Still needs a little bit of work up in the corners there. Number five. Got to swing the crank around and do a little bit more work there, especially in the back. And six. Same there. But a lot of the heavy stuff is off. What, what else did I do? Let's see. Oh, I pulled the um, the tappets and the tappet guides out. All uh, 12 of them. That's going to allow me to access the top of the camshaft and that area. Camshaft bearing. Be able to get down one there with the brush. Other than that, I think that's about all I'm going to show as far as this process goes. As you saw before, it's just, it's too difficult to film what I'm actually doing. But I'll make sure I include a clip in the next video uh, of the completed job, completed cleaning process. But you know what, I'll show you when I pull the uh, oil pump. Oil pump out and inspect that. Now I know a lot of people are going to ask, well why didn't you take the c uh, cylinder block to a sh professional and have it dipped and hot tanked and cleaned in that respect and um, yeah, I, I don't want to go any farther into it than this that would be a, a, a huge job in itself to break the engine from the generator pull the crankshaft out it would just it would add a lot of work and I think I'm going to be able to do a sufficient job cleaning uh, this method even though it, it may be a little bit more time consuming and a little bit of a headache but I think the results will be more than satisfactory. So uh, let's see. What's next? Uh, next video will probably be removal of that oil pump for inspection and flushing of all the oil lines. I'm going to need to plug this hole right here temporarily uh, as this feeds the idler gear for the water pump. But that's about it. O other than that, once I pressurize the, the oil gallery system, I can rotate the crankshaft and work on flushing everything out. I think I'm, again, just going to use uh, fuel oil as the, the flushing agent or flushing fluid. That seems to be working pretty well. It's not too aggressive and uh, it's very readily available. So. Thanks for uh, for watching. More updates to